A SEARCH AND RESCUE OPERATION CONTINUES OUT IN CALIFORNIA WHERE SOME PEOPLE ARE STILL TRAPPED INSIDE THEIR HOMES AFTER BACK-TO-BACK -back SNOWSTORMS. AND AS CBS 2'S JOY BENEDICT REPORTS, PEOPLE ARE DESPERATE FOR HELP. THAT'S THREE HOUSES JUST HERE WITH TREES ON THEM. SNAP TREES, DOWNED POWER LINES AND THOUSANDS TRAPPED IN THEIR HOMES AS CRUSHING SNOW IN THE MOUNTAINS OF SOUTHERN CALIFORNIA HAS MANY RUNNING OUT OF FOOD AND POWER. WOMEN ARE STUCK AT HOME WITH THEIR CHILDREN AND THEY'RE ON THEIR LAST TWO CHICKEN BREASTS. THE NATIONAL GUARD IS GOING DOOR TO DOOR SHOVELING SNOW TO CLEAR PATHS. BUT EVEN WITH THE OTHER FIRST RESPONDERS HELPING, IT COULD TAKE UP TO A WEEK TO REACH EVERYONE. THEY'RE MAKING SNOW PRISONS. YOU KNOW, YOU CAN'T GET OUT OF YOUR OWN HOUSE. SO THEY'RE PLOWING YOU INTO YOUR OWN HOMES. YEAH, WE WOULD LOVE SOME MORE BOOTS ON THE GROUND AND MORE EQUIPMENT. ANITA HUDSON HAS BEEN UNABLE TO GET OUT OF HER NEIGHBORHOOD FOR AT LEAST 10 DAYS. I spoke to an elderly lady yesterday. She has been sleeping uh, in her kitchen on the floor with her gas stove on for heat. In Northern California, there is no time to dig out as another storm blankets the Sierra Nevada. New England residents join the millions nationwide bracing for another winter storm. The strong system destroyed several homes across the south after bringing hail, tornadoes, and powerful winds. Back in Southern California, a rain saturated cliff gave way Friday, and several homes are in danger of tumbling down. And for those in the mountains, the fear and frustration still remains. I just feel very sad for the community. It's, it's a calamity. As heartbreaking as these storms have been, they may lead to less heartbreak in the summer, as most of California's reservoirs have now returned to normal or average levels. The snow and rain easing. The drought. Joy Benedict, CBS News, Los Angeles.